Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Sagittarius, this is going to be what are their true intentions in love. Yes, it is. And Sagittarius, this is a reading we're going to be using today the before tarot and the extended reading we'll be using the after tarot, okay, which is kind of key because it's interesting. This is stuff that, uh, you know, before, this could have already happened before, and in the other reading it will show you what is... Uh, going to happen later. Yeah, it's really interesting here, all right? Because we're, you know, you, you know how you, we are over here, all right, Sagittarius? Yeah. We do try to be interesting. We do, even if we have to be a rebel. Yeah, you guys probably already know that about me. Uh, <laughs> we got to be careful, though, because you can't free, sp speak freely. Oh, hell no. And that should be a huge wake up for everybody because there's a lot of people who talk about. Uh, things that are really important that we need, like our rights, and they always say you can't speak, right? So let's let's do this reading, though, Sagittarius, all right? Because uh, it is your right, <laughs> and uh, we want to respect that, right? Because we have uh, kind of promised that here. The Knight of Wands, uh, Sagittarius, is your recent past energy, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> it looks like somebody already took action here, and this uh, knight, this could be you, but this knight here is uh, wielding his wand. It has a lot of sprouts on it, right? This can talk about somebody who was super inspired and they already took action. Let's see, though, because as I said, uh, or I may have said, this is a new deck. Yeah, it is. And uh, let's see. The Knight of Wands. Okay, let's see. A quick interpretation. Before you go riding off on another quest, be sure you know. Be sure you know who or what you're fighting for. So in the past, maybe you didn't know if something was worth fighting for. It's kind of how that looks, right? Mm-hmm. It's interesting because fire signs can be impulsive. We're like, well, I want that. And, you know, here we go. Just riding off into the, you know, into the wild blue yonder to get it. Let's see what it talks about. The Knight of Wands explores the realm of fire with the fiery passion of the knights, right? Yeah, let's see. A dark young man, spiritual rescue or adventure. Departure. See, this can be departure because he already looked like he left, right? Mm-hmm. <coughs> he already looks like, not look like, he already looks like he left. And flight, emigration, a move to a new home. This is uh, in the recent past. You might have been in the tower about it because the tower is adjacent. You might have been in the tower because you wanted that, possibly. Yeah, you wanted a new adventure. Or maybe you wanted somebody to depart, right? Mm-hmm. The Emperor is your challenge. Let's see what the Knight of Wands is about, though, before we kind of move on here. This is about an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The Knight of Pentacles is uh, reaching for the pentacle, or he has put it in the tree, right? Almost like he waited, because that's what they do. Uh, Earth signs wait. They don't rush off like this other night. They wait. Sometimes they wait too long, though, right? Yeah, and uh, let's see. <coughs> I feel like you, you wanted some type of an adventure, but you didn't. maybe you didn't know if it was worth fighting for it, so it could be with this Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Yeah, let's see what we have. It's like a valley girl. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> if you guys know what valley girls are. Let's see, now they have a different word for them, right? They do in a different generation. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Knight of Pentacles says about the Knight of Pentacles. It says, slow but steady wins the race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt like you wanted an adventure with somebody and you were kind of waiting for them. Mm -hmm. I felt like you were in the tower and you didn't know if you should fight for it. You're like, well, I, I really like this or want this person, but I'm not sure if it's worth fighting for. Yeah, I feel like that's the that's the case. Maybe this person is Scorpio. It could be any earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The Emperor is in this reading and the Hangman is here. The Emperor, Aries, and the Hangman, Pisces. Let's look at the tower. All right, OMG, the tower. I'm surprised they don't have some cereal called the tower, right? Mm -hmm. well, they put a whole bunch of GMO stuff. Oh, they already do put the GMOs. Oh, hell yeah, they do. <laughs> Let's look at the tower, you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the tower is the number 16. 
Right after the devil. Oh, okay, so we have the tower is a fortress where wanderers seek shelter from the storm. This is really interesting because in this particular deck, they are walking into the tower to seek refuge from the storm. This is you. Mm -hmm. Let's get another card here. Duck and cover. You're about to be hit by a bolt from the blue, <laughs> from like the sea, the, the sky. If you've been feeling trapped, you're about to be released. Wow. So somebody's, I feel like somebody is like, yeah, somebody, you're going to, somebody's going to release you from the tower. It's like Sagittarius, you are Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so I can rescue you. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you, you know, you kind of ruined it with all your uh, bleach and stuff, because I'm going to come and get you. All right? Hopefully the, the hair will, you know, uh, not split. <laughs> But the tower, this is, uh, mm -hmm. maybe this Knight of Pentacles is releasing themselves from a tower and they're about re ready to rescue you. Let's get one more card. This is really interesting. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Your stuff's always interesting, Sagittarius. You're making me work hard. You're making it hard for me. <laughs> See, we got somebody sings a song like the world card. And these, this with this world card, the two people are here and they're loving each other big time. It's not just the dancer, right, with the wand. And yeah, these two people are loving each other. This is the end of a cycle. Somebody's coming to rescue you, Sagittarius. You didn't know if they were worth fighting for. OMG. Yeah, they're coming to rescue you. They're coming to, you know, take you from the tower. Mm hmm. That's what we need, you guys. People don't realize that that's what we really need. They think everything's okay. OMG. It's not. When we start forcing stuff and hiding secrets, hiding things, okay, it's... So, let's see. No comments, because please don't comment, because you can't speak freely. Yeah. Let's see. The Emperor and the Chariot card. Sagittarius, this is your challenge. Interesting, the Emperor here looks like Old Man Time, or whoever that was, with the long, long beard. There's a guy in the Game of Thrones who looks like that. I think he's passed on now. <laughs> Okay, let's see. The challenge for you is the emperor and the chariot. The chariot, somebody needs to get in their chariot and take control of their life, right? They have the blonde Grecian here. Okay, it's not that many. Well, there was blonde Grecians back in the day, but then, you know, the, the Ottoman Empire came and the Turks, and I feel like the, uh, maybe even, who's the other guys? The, uh, the Mongols, right? The Mongolians, I should say. The Mongolians, you know, uh, went into, you know, into Greece. Everybody's mixed, you guys. There's no, hardly any countries that have not been over time, right, mixed. So, which is interesting, of course. The emperor, let's see what the emperor is about, but the man's getting into the chariot, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius. He is, yeah, mm-hmm. So let's see what else we have. Mm -hmm. The wings are here. Yeah, on the wings of love, right? Jeffrey Osborne. Let's look at the uh, the emperor showing up as the number four. And the emperor is in the traditional. All these meaning. All these cards have some traditional meaning. Meaning, and the emperor is somebody who takes care and control of their their empire. They have the will, the determination, and the control, and kind of the uh, what do you call that? The temperament to kind of you know, kind of run things smoothly. Although you know there could be. Uh, many armies at his fortress, right? Let's see, we have the emperor as a leader with the strength to bear the sins of his people. And he'll lay down his life to protect his family, home, and country. So this is your challenge. Maybe somebody's, you know, family, home, and country. Maybe somebody's married here. There's some kind of a situation. I feel like they're coming to rescue you. Mm-hmm. This could be what you want. You might want them to come rescue you, and you didn't know if they were worth fighting for in the past. But you love this person, Sagittarius. Yeah, this is love, love, love. Uh, whoever sings that song out of the 60s. Let's look at the chariot. Uh, let's see, because this emperor is just kind of clear. If you've been feeling like a scapegoat or a sacrificial lamb, it's time to stand up and reclaim your rightful throne. I feel like you feel like you belong to somebody. Like, you know somebody loves you. OMG, Sagittarius. You know somebody loves you, and you know you are the rightful owner of that throne. They could be married to somebody. 
Why am I saying that? Well, there's a couple fours in this reading. Mm. I just think they could, they could be. But let's continue here. Uh, and let's look at the chariot card, which is the number seven. Seven is complete. This talks about action, but sevens are also about, in the minor arcana, they talk about figuring things out or, uh, you know, being confused. Like, it's about evaluating things. That's what it is, assessment. So let's look at the chariot card where we have the blonde Grecian, right? The chariot is both a vehicle for travel and exploration and a weapon of war. Mm-hmm. I feel like so. I said somebody might be married because the emperor is going to be like a father figure, right? But this here, uh, the challenge here is that for you is that I feel like you want, I feel like this is kind of, I feel like it is kind of a, a weapon for war. The challenge for you is journeys and movement and travel, maybe. This is quests, uh, war. It could be a war. And I say that because I feel like there could be somebody who is married and it's kind of depicted that way. Battle. Triumph, victory, parades, mm -hmm. will, control. See, this this is similar energy to the emperor. The challenge for you is your person, maybe they needed the balls to come forward. Because they might have needed the balls over here. You might have not have known whether or not they were worth fighting for. I feel like you're still waiting for them. You're like, well, I guess they are. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. Uh, what I was saying earlier is that you know you are the rightful owner of the throne. Yeah, the throne of love. Yeah, with this person. And we have the Page of Wands. This is somebody who, in this deck, this is the before deck. Mm -hmm. I feel like before you didn't know if they were worth waiting for. Yeah, because that's showing up over here in the recent past. And currently, mm, you're kind of in the tower, but I feel like you're waiting for them to rescue you because you know you are the rightful owner. Like, you're using your intuition here. You're, think, you're saying to yourself, this person's coming. I feel like you are. So let's see why the Page of Wands is the challenge, part of the challenge. Yeah. Let's see. Page of Wands. Yeah, the Page of Wands is the personification of fire. He is fire in human form. This is you're about to learn something new. The lesson will be obvious. Simply look for signs literally and read the writing on the wall. So this is in your challenge. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for news. Yeah. Because the page is also to their messengers. You're waiting for news here. I feel like whether or not somebody kind of took control of their life and got in the driver's seat of their life. The, the, the Grecian uh, what do they call him? I don't think his name is the chariot. I think he's in the chariot. I feel I forgot his name. But he's getting in the driver's seat of his life and having the will and determination to do it. This is your challenge. I feel like somebody's married. And you're waiting to find out here. This is the challenge. You're waiting. You're waiting for them to come rescue you because you know this person belongs to you. You know they do. Wow. Like, what's her face saying? You belong to me. Tell them you are fooled. You belong to me. You don't even know her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's maybe that's about a third party that somebody never knew. But uh, who sings that song? I forgot. Let's see why the Five of Swords is there. For Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. And you. this is what you want conquest and defeat. You want to defeat another union. You want this person. The world card talks about somebody who has come full full circle and they are meant to be together. Here they are. At the end of all these journeys they end up together. You know you belong with this person Sagittarius. Yeah. Even if you are uh, a cow and they're a lion. <laughs> Right? You could be saying, uh, maybe you're Italian and they're, uh, I don't know, they're Nigerian. Whatever it is. It doesn't, I feel like it's not even, of course it's not about that, but I'm just saying, they're showing, you know deep down, however different you guys could be, you know that you belong with this person, which is a beautiful, it's very beautiful. You want defeat, you want them to defeat somebody else, Sagittarius. You do. Let's see what else we have. The lovers. You want them to defeat somebody else and choose you. And look at the man. He's offering the hand to the woman. She's laying on the ground. This is supposed to be 
Adam and Eve, it is, even according to the creepy Kabbalists and Kabbalists. I don't mean these people who believe, I don't mean those people in divination. I mean people who are running things that try to act like they, you know. Like the heavens and the earth, uh, the heavens and the planets don't exist, and that, you know, intuition and divination is all a lie. No, they use it all the time. They seek astrologers, they use their own symbology, etc., the lovers. Mm, this is what you want. You want this person to defeat somebody, Sagittarius. And your fear is the Three of Pentacles, and they just, these three people just finished uh, making a sign, right? This is like the. Uh, I don't believe he's the architect. I feel like he's the actual builder. But no matter, he is drawing the design, right? But it looks like they're done. And he's not quite done. He's like, you know, 98% done. These two people are looking on. You're afraid this person's not going to work with you. You're afraid there may not be a completion. The Ten of Cups, you're doubting. Wow, and these Ten of Cups is like, uh, this is like a storm. This is doubting you're never going to have the rainbow or the happily ever after with somebody. Yeah, and uh, uh -huh. and let's look at the Three of Pentacles for Sagittarius. And we have the card of... We have the card of... Uh, yeah, you're afraid they're not going to invest in you. Partnership. Yeah, this is about investment and partnership. Mm -hmm. Risk. Mm -hmm. Wow, power, fame, and fortune. You're afraid this person... Like, you're never going to have your happily ever after, and you're afraid here, you're fearing here that it's going to rain here, that in the end here. But it's interesting because you know you belong with them, and you're waiting, but you're, like, you have one tiny doubt, but 99% of you said they're coming. Maybe they've taken a long time. It even says that with this Knight of Pentacles card. Right? It says that. It says that he's really slow. In fact, he's so slow that he put his pentacle on the tree. Yeah, it's like when I go somewhere and if I'm playing a, something sport or something, I'll set my keys down or if I'm going to throw the ball, right, because I know I'm not ready to go. This person's been waiting, and you've been waiting for them. So let's see what else we have for Sagittarius' person, all right, because, yeah, you're waiting to find out here. You're waiting to find out if your prince is coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're pretty sure they are, but not 100%. They have the Eight of Pentacles in the recent past, Sagittarius, with the Seven of Swords. This is carefully laid plans. It's kind of like an enemy attack. This is what they did in the past. This is the before tarot, so this is this could have been this is, could have gone on in a while. They were planning this very carefully. I feel like it's to escape Seven of Swords, and I feel like it's because they were so inspired by you, Eight of Pentacles. This person is inspired by you, Sagittarius. You could have been wearing your low neck sweater, right? And your high-rise uh, mini dress. Yeah, that's what you were wearing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't wear uh, black uh, stockings to church, black uh, fishnet stockings to church. All right, Sagittarius? <laughs> Just teasing. Fishnet, those are the ones that... <laughs> See, we got. So let's look at the hangman, Sagittarius. This is their current energy. Maybe they're Pisces. They have the Seven of Wands. And this Seven of Wands is somebody who is having the courage to go after their convictions, like something they really want. But they're praying. The man's praying. He's at the edge of the cliff here, like getting ready to jump off, praying that uh, whatever they want is going to work out here. They could be Pisces. They could be walking away from Pisces because that's what this reading is about. It is about you wanting defeat and you know... Uh, like, you know, that's what this is about. If they defeat this other person, which is not a nice way to say it, but that's what the book says, you guys, all right? So, yeah, some people get all sensitive. They're like, what? And so, you know, um, and this is probably not the right, I'm probably not the right reader if you're sensitive, no. I'm nice, but I'm not, you know, overly sensitive, no. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, yeah, so let's see. But I feel like, uh, Sagittarius aren't usually sensitive. No, they're usually, so you, we're usually kind of like level-headed, right? Yeah, we're not overly sensitive. But, you know, uh, unless it's necessary, yeah. But I feel like right here, your person is like fighting their fears and praying that their, uh, their quest for to have their convictions, right? To, to have you, to be with you, right? Uh, 
is going to work out. They're showing the wands here with the sprouts. Yeah, it's interesting here. And then we have the Queen of Swords. And she is all, look at the Cupid is here bringing the crown. And this is about uh, decisions. In, like, this is like them kind of praying that their decision is going to work. Wow. Or is going to be a, a wise decision. I feel like it's to come. Because here they are in the Eight of Pentacles. Very inspired by you, Sagittarius. All right. You're so inspiring, right? When you're not like beating beating them up, Sagittarius. All right. <laughs> Let's see the Ten of Wands beating them up with like with whatever. It doesn't always have to be your fist, right? <laughs> it's teasing. Ten of what well, could be your words, right? That's what they say. Sagittario, cuidado. Like this is what uh, Walter used to say, the Puerto Rican astrologer. Cuidado. Uh, con, tu, con tu lengua, or something like that, because, you know, your words cut like a knife, yeah. <laughs> Be careful with your words. Okay, so let's get back to this reading, Sagittarius. And uh, we have the Ten of Wands in their challenge with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is all about bravery. This is their challenge. And this is to let something go, really, the Ten of Wands in this deck, and to, in order to build something else. There's Ten of Wands on the ground, and there's five up in the air. This is kind of like a rebuilding kind of can be can also talk about uh you know like letting something else go but it is to kind of rebuild or to build something with you i feel like it is and let's see what the uh the five of i mean the ten of wands has to say in this particular deck right and here it is progress skill work perseverance dedication mm -hmm. the ten of wands is a cautionary card extol ex extolling the virtues of careful planning and organization so we know this person has already planned, Sagittarius, the Seven of Swords. The man's at the, he's at the fair, right, the circus, and he's putting all these, uh, you know, methodically placing or carefully placing these swords. And your person's challenge is to have bravery here and perseverance. Because they, and this is, they made a really hard decision here. I feel like they have. I also feel like it has to do with sabotaging somebody else, right? And they're hoping here, they're praying. Yeah, they're actually praying, Sagittarius, all right? So uh, you could be saying they don't go to church. Well, even if they don't go to church, they're praying over here, okay? Some people still pray and they don't go to church, right? I know I pray soon. Sometimes I don't I go to church uh, all the time, but I pray, yeah. And we have the Four of Cups here. And let's look at the Four of Cups, and this is what they want. They want you to drink from their cup. This is the opposite of the other. Uh, they're hoping that you're going to drink from their cup. And they could have offered you maybe... Uh, I feel like they're hoping you're going to drink for their cups because they have more to offer once you take that cup. Look at that. There's three cups up here held up, and the man's just reading, uh, drinking from one judgment. They're hoping for a rebirth. Yeah, they're hoping to wake the situation uh, up from the dead and bring it into uh, a beautiful reconciliation with you. This is what they're hoping for. They're, they could be hoping for God's help here with the angel. They could, and over here they're praying. Mm -hmm. The high priestess, maybe they're Pisces or Scorpio. And this is kind of like following their intuition. It is the High Priestess, mm -hmm, or there is a Pisces or a Scorpio. And the Four of Pentacles is what they're doubting or fearing. This person's afraid they're going to lose money. That's that's not usually it's it's not usually about holding on to people. It's holding on to money. We're going to end this reading, Sagittarius, and we're going to go to the extended reading uh, where we will look at the underlying issues, how they feel about you, Sagittarius, how they see the situation. Their near future, what you don't know about them, and what they want for you. Wow. And their true intentions. And we're also going to see, Sagittarius, uh, about this person. Uh, we're going to see, uh, we're going to be using the after tarot. So this is going to change change up a little bit, which is going to be really interesting, I think. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't make any comments about anything that's not tarot. I kept it pretty simple. and uh, Because these are truths that, you know that they don't want people to hear, right? So thank you so much, you guys. God bless.